told you I was going to be back and yes, I am back. It is a Tuesday and now it's time to talk sub showbiz here on Joy News on Multi TV. My name is Doreen Avi and today we're starting with, should I say, Ghana Jamaica for Homecoming um, Festival Ambassador. Yes, that's how I call him. He's, he's also an actor. Don Little is in the news and... Uh, I'm sure you would like to hear his story because my colleague Becky caught up with him. And when I heard the story, I was pretty touched, but I thank God for his life. And also Diamond Platinums, yeah, he was in Ghana last week and um, he also performed at the Glow concert. Uh, there's an interview with him as well talking about Ghanaian music, how he promotes his music and how he sees African music in the next two years. This and many more here on Let's Talk Showbiz. My name is Doreen Avio. Don't go away. Let's Talk Showbiz. If you just joined me, this is Let's Talk Showbiz and we are doing this right here at One Corner Inside Coco Mlemle. And yes, we're starting with Don Little. Don Little is an actor and now he is the ambassador for the Ghana Jamaica homecoming festival which is scheduled to take place next year my colleague becky caught up with him and i find him cute every time he talks and um hearing the story he's blessed so he talks about how when his parents gave birth to him they thought he was a dwarf so they actually wanted to kill him but by the grace of god he has grown and this is how far the lord has brought him he keeps thanking god for his life and uh, of course going into movies and what he has been doing for himself quite touching though so let's hear don little in this interview with joy news is becky i've shoot movie almost a year and i did not get my hit so i have to change the talent and if you are doing something and there's something is not favoring you you have to change it and see whether it will help you and i said i pray and i pray to god and god said that i should uh, use it through Funny Face. And Funny Face, we were staying at one area at Kaswa. So Funny Face was passing where I was selling. I was, that time I was selling credit at the roadside. Okay. And uh, there is a school behind the place I was selling. And if Funny Face was passing, he just passed inside the school. And I go there and say, boss, I want you to help me. And Funny Face told me, it is not God time. If it is God time, God will do everything. So I was praying to God, praying to God, praying to God. And one day, one day, uh, Funny Face just, just come uh, and visit one of his friends at my place. And he sent somebody to come and call me. And I go and he tell me that uh, today is today. God has done everything. So he want to do me just a short video. And he asked me if they give me a big woman, what will I going to do with the big woman? And I say if uh, they give me big woman, if I can't eat, I'll just use my legs to step inside and I'll spoil it. So this is the first video you made. I made with uh, my boss, Funny Face, and the video was... Went viral. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and so that is my hit. Yeah. So if I'm walking anywhere, don't let it, don't let it, don't let it. And funny face help me, introduce me to cow and chicken. And I was, yeah, interacting with funny face. Yeah. Uh, collect funny face girl. Yeah, it's uh, my cow free. Yeah. yeah. So that uh, TV series, cow and chicken, to raise me more. Yeah. And Do you make money, I mean, over the years that you've started acting? Oh, the money there, I did not make money in industry, but uh, thanks to God, through interview, I go uh, uh, Angel TV, I go interview Angel TV, and that through interview, God help people outside Ghana, and they help me a lot, they help me a lot. So I'll use this opportunity to thank everybody that who helped me. God bless everybody that is uh, watching me. <laughs> God bless everybody. My mom, my dad, my fans, everybody that's helped me. And now I, I, I am here, yeah. I, I have noticed that you, you're always, you know, talking about God. You have this passion for the gospel and how appreciative you are of 
uh, what God has done for you. Uh, what church do you go to? Do you, uh, obviously you're Christian, right? Uh, the reason why if I'm speaking in public, I will always mention God's name because my parents give birth to me. They were not like, like, uh, I'm from yeah, let's say, yeah, I'm from yeah, I'm from yeah, they don't involve me, like they wanted to kill me because they would say uh, I'm a dwarf, yeah, I'm a dwarf. So true God, that make me somebody. So every, if I stand anywhere and I get the opportunity or this thing, I have to thank my uh, creator or the person who opened the way or the chance for me. Do, do you still, are you still in contact with your parents? Yeah, now I'm, I'm contacting with them, but not too much. Yeah, yeah. But do you feel bad sometimes when you look bad, uh, back? Do you feel bad about your height? Or the, or the way God created you? Yeah, sometimes if I'm sitting down and I'm thinking, I think bad about my height because if it is not God grace, like I can't go and do missing work. If I go to office, nobody will give me work to do. So the, the only thing God will use to help me is that comedian or acting or the favor, the favor. I was remembering, I went to sit with a bishop, and bishop say, you need only favor, just pray for favor. If the favor is upon you, nothing can stop you, yeah. And I also pray and God opened the way for me, so I thank God very much. Ghana, if uh, Ghana, we are selfish. And the reason why Ghana is not moving on because of our leadership and our elders and our president, yeah, and our vice. Why? Because they are the people who have the money. They're supposed to help their country so that their country will grow. But rather, they don't help their country. They only want their name. If something just happened and they will go and pledge, I'll give this, I'll do this, it is very bad. There, uh, we have some people that they are suffering. They are not helping them. But if somebody just got somebody with sword or knife, they will rush and go to the person, I'll give the person this, I'll buy the person, I'll, that, that one is very bad. And they'll be driving cars along the street and the public. They'll be seeing the street boys and the street girls. They don't have parents. And uh, some of them are, come from their village, they don't get work to do. They have to help these people. So that if they get place to stand, they will mention, oh, through this one, that I make somebody. Let's talk showbiz. Ladies and gentlemen, Don Little right there, and uh, you heard his story. And as I said, I'm so proud of him. He's very good friends with Funny Face, the comedian. I see them roll around, I mean, roll together a lot. And uh, I can say that they are very good friends. But uh, kudos to him on his uh, ambassadorial deal and all of that. So keep it moving. And, and now we move straight to one... African artist who is popular in Africa and even outside Africa, Diamond Platinums. He's from Tanzania and it's like uh, he's one artist everyone talks about when you go to Tanzania. I heard he's worth about four million dollars. Yeah, yeah. And uh, well, he was in Ghana, so my colleague Ibi caught up with him. He's been talking about music, Ghanaian music and collaborations. He also spoke about the fact that in the next two years, African music will conquer the world. Diamond Platinums. Uh, from my point of view, doing a song with somebody is like connecting the, like the bridge and all that. So it's like, you're connecting my music, like my music and the music from his town and all that. So it's like we bring Africa together. So uh, most of the time, I love to collab with different artists because that's how we get connected. That's how we connect Africa to be one. Yeah. Well, there's been a lot of talks about Africa and we supported our own, doing our own and not making other race take over us. Are you a reggae dancer? person or you just doing music and appreciating any kind of music i do all the music too. 
I used to be a rapper. I can rap, I can sing, I can do dance, I can do R&B, I can do bongo flavor, I can do Afrobeat, whatever that called music, I can F with it. <laughs> so, this is not your first time in Ghana, is it? I don't know, this is my second time. I remember last time I came here to shoot one of the, it was a music video for Mighty Choice. Yeah, so this is my second time and I'll be performing I think on Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So tell me, do you follow Ghana music? Of course, of course as, a, as an African musician, I have to follow everything which comes from Africa. When do you see African music in connection with the West in the next two, three years? Well, the more days goes, the more music you know? So, uh, increasing the more fan base, you gain more fan base, the more days goes, the more like we conquer the world. So, from what I'm seeing now, after two years, we'll be very fun. Let's talk showbiz. It was great. Uh, actually, I, I wasn't expecting anything like this. So it's like it's a great feeling, though. Yeah, it's a great feeling. Let me ask you, what was the purpose of the trip? It was a business trip and also to scout some locations for um, upcoming video shoots and. So I'm sure you're able to get some nice venues. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. how soon are the videos going to be shot? Okay, um, with that, my manager, Shamodi, will, will, will let the media know. I can't I can't just uh, put out uh, stuff like that. But uh, your song, Seven, is, is making waves. You know, did you expect it? Yeah, it's a good song and um, it speaks about life. Fat. Hustle, so you know it's a motivational song. Okay, so after seven, what what next you expect? Something for the ladies. Something for the ladies. Yeah. Maybe the what will be the title? Okay. It will be our soon. It will be our soon. And some of them are not telling me they are more suffer than me. If be a bad thing, I will be here in a pan. We don't have no prepare no. Say I'm a citizen when I'm sick of him. So I'm a papa and I'm a man. I'm taxing my brain. my Okay. Okay. Actually, I tried calling Jehovah, be like man, no get service. Let's talk showbiz. Right, so now that will be it for Let's Talk Showbiz. I wish we could do more and more, but this is not the end of the week. I'll be back here same time tomorrow on Joy News on Multi TV. Don't miss out on it. I'm Doreen Avio, and we can interact on social media. On Twitter, it's Doreen Avio, and on Instagram, it's Doreen underscore Avio. Do have a wonderful evening.